Hi, welcome back to another video. This is Teresa M. Cooking for One. Let's get started. This is what I'm having for dinner tonight. I'm having toast and some green tea. This is my dinner. So I'm not feeling my best, but I haven't eaten all day. So I feel like I should um, get something in me. And the only thing I could think of is a sandwich, really, because I probably really want to eat bread. I, did, I mean, I felt so bad today that I didn't even have coffee this morning. And that's really not like me. Pepper. Guys, I feel so bad. I just think I'm going to go ahead. Well, I guess I can muster up the strength to. Get the bagel on side on top of it. All right. So I had a bag of chicken wing eggs that I hauled a while ago, and I decided to use the lemon pepper seasoning for the first time. And I just um, kind of took a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt on it. And it's just five little wing eggs from the pack. So um, the other side cooked rapidly because I just, I don't know. But this side I'm gonna go ahead and let it fully cook. and. Just wanted to show you what I was having for dinner as I'm cooking for one person and I'm just having an AHA, um, what is it, a sparkling water with it. My daughter, when she was cleaning out her pantry, getting ready to go on keto, she brought this over. So it's some premium grade rice and you don't need to cook it only for one minute, 30 seconds in the microwave, but I need to hook that up because I just don't want plain rice. My daughter had these peas here that she um, was cooking and smashing down to feed the baby. Um, so I think that with the rice, I think it's done in the microwave. It said one minute and 30 seconds. I'm going to eat half of it. These came out of the freezer, so they're definitely frozen. And I know this is probably going to pop on me. I just feel like I want to, they're frozen, so I'm just going to heat them up in this same oil, but I'm going to shake some lemon pepper seasoning on my rice. I'm hoping the chicken's done because I did cook it kind of fast. That was a big piece, it didn't look quite done. that one either anyway a little bit of a fail going on here but you guys know how I operate oh the peas are trying to pop out of here let me turn this fire down because I don't want to have popcorn or whatever these are ended up doing kids don't try this at home on my little the core here. The plate over here because we can't have that. You know, I'm not a big rice person other than Chinese fried rice. But every now and then I get in the mood for it. So I think this is just one of those times 
clearly, as you can see, I still just don't want plain rice, but I definitely don't want it to turn into something that's unedible. Anyways, this is what my dinner's looking like. It's supposed to be rice on the side, but you understand. Is there any way to just prevent grease from popping all over the place? I hate frying for the smell and for the mess it makes. And I have a pee right there that I'm at the... I just have this on low, and basically it was three beef patties that I had in the freezer, and I had it for some time. So I was trying to figure out a way to make a meal out of it to go ahead and push this through before it just get totally freezer burned. I ended up putting the three patties inside of the fridge overnight to thaw out. <clears throat> so as I'm standing here, wishing I had to smash these down to more crumbles instead of these chunks, I decided, well, I can actually use it for, to add with spaghetti, even though my, I had in mind to make tacos with it because I do have some taco shells that need to get eaten. Do I have taco seasoning? That is so funny because now that I'm just using that, what is this? This is gumbo, booyah, something or the other. Probably never going to use that. Um, I thought I had taco seasoning somewhere. Um, there that is. I was looking for that. And basically, this is where all of my seasoning should be. What's going on here? Um, so, wow. Guess I don't. All right. Well, that's okay. Sometime I'll start something and don't finish it and then stick it on the door. <clears throat> yeah, I don't see it in here. So I don't have taco seasoning. So if I had a had some taco seasoning, I would take it half of the portion and did it and then use the other half for pasta. But then now let's see if I have pasta and pasta sauce. Just the bow tie, or I call them bow tie.
Somebody said you shouldn't dig your fingers in the bag. That's what makes the cheese go bad faster. So basically just pour out what you need. Pull this and I'll show you after. I had tacos for lunch and tacos for dinner because as I spoke to you I have taco shells going bad well that I had for a while and um, the ground meat that I put in here I'm sharing it with tacos and later in the week I'm gonna make spaghetti spaghetti or pasta using it but this was just the rest of rest of the salad that was in a bag of salads that I got from 99 cent store and then I did have to buy the tomatoes Sep, um, recently and then the cheese came with my um, recent grocery haul this is dinner I had coffee and a half a banana for breakfast the other half is still sitting here but um, I need to work on the other half of the chicken that I have because it's just been in the refrigerator and I went ahead and put some seasoning on it or seasoning Paprika, onion powder, um, 
some turmeric. I didn't put any pepper on it because I wanted to get rid of this onion that I had left over from, oh, it already kind of formed other legs and stuff. And I cut those off and I used them. But I just wanted to maybe like chop up some of this and put it in and shake it up in there and just have it like kind of stuck to, hopefully sticks to the, to the chicken when I'm frying it. And I just put some oil in the pan, not a lot, just probably enough to cover one side because I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't normally cook chicken with batter. And um, when I dump it into the frying pan, I'm going to have to turn on this overhead, the air ring. The, hopefully we'll just, like I said, stick stick to the chicken, hopefully. It smells so good. I just love the way onions smell. I'm going to get the seasoning all distributed by shaking this and then I'm going to come back when I'm going to put it in the skillet. You won't hear anything because it's going to be where the overhead range is on. Shake some hot sauce on it if you're that kind of person some jalapeno juice sprinkle it on it um, roll it in some ranch um, seasoning powder or just have it like this but it's just freshly out of the skillet and it's gonna just be sitting here for me to munch on or have it for dinner because it's 202 right now so and I'm barely just finishing up some brunch that I kind of grazed into but yeah so I'm so glad that I have this fixed because it was sitting in the refrigerator and I did not want it to go to waste. And you know, my pet peeve, I don't believe in wasting food. See you on the next clip.